Hey, what's up? First of all, happy birthday, Katie. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Second of all, no, I'm not feeling better. <laughs> Second of all, no. What I deal with is a chronic thing that comes back every three or so months, and that's just gonna be, that's just how it is, dude. It's gonna be a shit week or two. Uh, it's already been happening for like a week, and I've just been kinda okay. Yesterday was just really bad. I'll probably be better overall today than I was uh, yesterday. Yesterday just kind of fucking came at me hard, and I just was like fucking, I started feeling truly terrible. But uh, I have to stream, uh, it's my job. So I'm going to stream, I'm not gonna let this fucking stop me for a week or two. Especially when I don't wanna stream over the weekend. So I already feel bad that I'm not streaming tomorrow, but uh, I had other plans and I mean, I'm already on the edge of canceling those just because of how fucking shit I feel, so I'm gonna try to do those instead. Fuck working on that day. Mm -mm. It's been it's been a, just a weird week. I don't think I've uh, been able to stream longer than three hours or three and a half hours every single day. It's just been a weird one. It's whenever this shit happens. And it's not like I'm fucking keeping everyone posted on like a, my bonitis is acting up and my bonitis is making it so I'm always tired and not able to sleep well and this and that and this and that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much been this whole week has been a mix of uh, my bonitis, as I will call it, and my uh, like three other things just all happening at the same time physically, creating like a kind of cocktail of me just not feeling very good. But usually I'm able to tough through it. Uh, it's mainly just yesterday was very bad. Yesterday was like a I could not fake it till I make it kind of thing. So, eh. I I don't think any of the streams this week have been bad. So I'm not I'm not like upset. Although I do not like it when I have to cut a stream short, like against my will. I've pre-planned these streams to be shorter somewhat because I haven't felt great. I do not like it when I, I truly do not like it when I have to cut them short for like any other reason. Makes you feel like shit, but yeah. There will not be a stream tomorrow. So today, today will be it until Monday. And then uh, since there's no more seven days to die, Monday will probably be taken up by something pretty cool, uh, provided I'm feeling well enough to do like a six hour stream. I've had stuff fucking on the docket for literally weeks <laughs> and I can't do them because I don't feel good. So shrug, I, I shouldn't even have tried to do the Minecraft thing yesterday because now that's like more complicated because I deleted the like first part because there was only like two hours of actual gameplay before I had to leave. Like insert anything here, LOL, you guessed wrong, fool. Inserting random thing there. I'm an enigma. You'll never be able to catch what I'm doing, ever. Dude. I'm way ahead of you. Is that why the VOD isn't up? Dude, I feel like everyone's already answered it. I feel like the answer is, like, I, I know for a fact it's been, it's been answered. Matter of fact, it was answered by my own title after the stream as well, yeah. Uh, I deleted it because it was two, it was an hour and a half of gameplay before I started to feel shit and then left. I don't leave those kinds of odds up. I shouldn't need to... A lot, a lot of people... A lot of people will get pissy about me deleting the VOD. Uh, sorry, I just got here, my bad. It's okay. It's just, uh... A lot of people come in a lot more loaded than your question and get fucking mad. They, they feel like they're entitled to VODs and you're not. <laughs> you're, you're not, though. will get abnormally heated. But yeah, I, I do wanna, I wanna do a, uh, I'm feeling okay right now. The main thing is that like, as long as I hold like perfect posture, I feel great. Uh, the second I, any part of my body moves in a weird direction, 
I don't feel good. So I'm I'm gonna just hold perfect posture. I'm just going to be in a perfect position the whole time. I just won't move. Just sucks because usually I'd be like, fuck yeah, dude! I'm profit into my body, directly into my veins, dude! And that fixes that that does help the problem. Believe it or not, my problem is solved by painkillers. Uh, but last I checked with my doctor, quite literally two days ago, when they checked my blood pressure at the doctor, they were like, to be clear, you should not be taking ibuprofen right now. <laughs> to be clear, your, your blood pressure is a little high to be taking ibuprofen on the regular every day, so don't do that. And I was like, copy that, doc. And then like a day later, this shit fucking started. Like Monday morning, I see the doctor. They tell me not to take ibuprofen Monday evening. What's this? It's that time again. What is it? Wait, does that mean the bonite is new? The rate at which my body will f create new problems the moment I walk out of a doctor's office is pretty much every single time, which is why the only way for me to stay perfectly healthy is to never go. And that's only a half joke. Or live at the doctor's. Yeah. But yeah, I'll be okay. It's just, I went, I did get some stuff taken care of. I had some blood work done today. Because at least my doctor was quick on the draw regarding some of it when I called them yesterday. So, uh, I'll at least have some stuff, uh, crossed off. Problem is, whenever this crap happens, literally every single time I've ever had this, like, chronic abdominal pain. Uh, by the time I get to a doctor that can, like, actually, like, run tests and scan, like, the area, the pain is gone again. And the moment to, like, actually check it is gone. And then it's, like, it's just gone again, and it'll come back another couple months. The medical system in the U.S. is too slow for me to actually get any kind of actual answer on, like, what's going on with me. It's like I have to storm into, like, a fucking urgent care building and be like fucking help me now to get anything or else it's like I'm no I'm not answering all the details about what's going on with me chat because I know you'll try to self-diagnose me and I'm a hypochondriac and the last thing I need is people telling me what they think I have uh I try to look at this all extremely rationally for my own health and my own mental sake uh so I definitely don't need chat md Just to be clear, I only speak on it because people will ask, uh, because I didn't, because I had to cut the stream in half yesterday because of it. But if there is a new development and something changes, I, you will likely know. <clears throat> Feel better soon. Thanks. For the most part, none of this is new to me. If it was new, I would be uh, much more concerned. But this is all stuff I've dealt with for literally years. It's just whenever it happens, it's a rough week or two. I don't think I'd be as bothered if, like, I didn't have, like, stuff going on. <laughs> if I was, like, if it was, like, a clear week and I didn't have, like, plans this weekend and, like, things I wanted to do, I'd be, like, shrug. I'd be, like, shrug. Who cares? But, like, it's, like, whenever, whenever I get, whenever there's something going on with my body and I have something also happening that will be impacted by the thing going on with my weird-ass body. 
I it just fucking it, it's not even it's not even the physical discomfort that bothers me. It's like my own it's like my mental like this is gonna be a fucking this is gonna bug me all weekend, just drive me fucking crazy. Bye. Plus I had to drive dude, I'm actually kinda like fucking angry because I got I had to drive like 30 minutes to like take care of some stuff today, like some chores before I had some blood work done. And I was stuck behind truly this grandma and grandpa doing 25 like this is like the meme this is the this is the meme state highway but like one of those state highways where it's one lane okay like quote unquote state highway one lane no way to pass grandma and grandpa in the car driving half the speed limit half 55 mile an hour speed limit they're going 20 or 25 they're not e they're not even at half they're going 20 25 maybe 30 if they're going downhill and they're going to feel a little crazy i was i was trapped behind them isn't that illegal yeah bud let me just pull out my fucking cellular device and call the cops on this fucking crazy bastard on the road <laughs> yeah dude if I, see the problem is I am a driver that does not, I don't, I'm not a big driver. I'm not. Okay. But I'm not, because I'm not big into driving and I'm not very great on directions and stuff like that. The, I like, unless I have a GPS actively ready to go to tell me like, Hey, if I turn this corner, this is how I get back onto the road. I was supposed to be on. I will get fucking lost and never find my way back home again until the day I die. I'll die out there. So I'm on this road. I'm not, I'm with them till the end of their journey. I'm, I'm with them till the end of their journey. And the end of their journey was a Jehovah's Witness church. They, they it was, it was a long fucking trip. <laughs> they, they were on that highway for like fucking, for truly, for truly, I was on, we were on that road for 30 minutes together. <laughs> Me, them, and like 40 people. <laughs> in a line the the line behind us was truly stretched beyond the curve of the horizon of cars and people getting more and more aggressive like trying to cross and be like can i get around everyone here and like speed pass it was so bad nobody was overpassing this is a road that weaves enough and has enough traffic of like tractors and like farm equipment and shit that trying to pass someone on this road is like basically asking god if he can flip a coin and see if you live like that's this state highway is like a it's farm country and if you're gonna cross if you're gonna pass someone you have to flip a coin and ask god if you think it's your time to get caught up in the wheels of a tractor as you tear around a corner it was bad. So what? when I, I left at fucking noon for this thing that was like literally like 30 minutes away, maybe more like 25, I got back at like 2.30 because of the this grandma and grandpa. I've never more deeply considered pulling into the church with them and being like, I fucking hate you too. <laughs> I've never done, I've never considered, because they pulled over and like climbed out of their car and started going to the church. And I was like, I could fucking pull over and like yell out my window that they should go fuck themselves. I should, but like, I don't care how old they are, dude. They could have, they have rear view mirrors. <laughs> they could, they should have been able to see how bad it was back there. It was like becoming a safety hazard. Like people were like considering their chances of like passing them it was, it, there was going to be a horrible accident at some point when some psycho with truck nuts on the back of their car was like, I've had enough of this. And then just like fucking floored it. It was coming. Dude. It was coming. Okay. No mercy. It only takes one of them to snap. Dude, if one person passed, you know the rest of the entire line of cars was going to be like, fuck, now I have to pass. 
Fuck, now I have to do it too. Let's go, let's go, let's go, convoy. Let's go. And then it would have been a, there would have been a tragedy on the state highway. You should have continued the 25 mile per hour speed limit even after they turned into the... Dude, nah. The second they were gone, I was at my destination because my destination was one turn after them! Ah! There was no, there was no, oh, thank God, floor it for like two minutes to get it out of my system. No, it was just like, I get out of my car and I had to look at them from out of my car and be like, I could walk up to them right now and tell them how fucking mad I am. I could, I could pick up those two old people and probably throw them. Their bones are so brittle and weak. I could throw them. Like they'd care. Oh, you know they don't. You... I pray to God when I'm as old as them, as ancient as them, I too spit in the eye of every single person I meet. It's just like, I don't know, they were, they were wrinkly. Those were hardcore wrinklers. Like, they were wrinkly as hell. And I'm just saying, man, if I was that close to death, I'd drive faster. Because, damn it, you don't have much time left. I don't know if I, you have time to be going 25 anymore. I'd be speeding up. The older I get, the faster I'm going to drive. I assure you of this. I assure you of this. The older I get, the faster I'm going to go because I know clock's a ticket. Oh, <laughs> it's just, look, man. Oh, I also, oh my God, there's another thing. Holy, I was at, a, I was at a intersection or like not an intersection, but like a crossing on the street for like a bike trail. And these fucking zoomers we're throwing rocks at a like a, what I believe was a was a wasp's nest right at the intersection of like the bike trail. I was par I was stopped because someone was crossing the, the 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 crosswalk on their bike, and these three zoomers were throwing rocks at a hornet's nest or a wasp's nest, something stupid. And wouldn't you know it, uh, they did hit it. The cyclist accelerates past it and gets away, and. I guess those kids truly thought that the hornets would not know or the wasps would not know who did it. They did. I pointed them out. I snitched because like a couple wasps, it was like next to my car. So I'm like, fuck these pieces of shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Like I'm in the cross, like one bad throw and they're hitting my car with these rocks, these fucking morons. So immediately when the hornets tap on my window and they're like, what's up? I'm like, them. It's them. Uh, and then they got chased away by, uh, by the bugs. They got actually fucking full on chased and swarmed like a cartoon. It was wild. It was, it was actually the first time I ever, like I was, I was sitting in my car baffled at the stupidity. <laughs> this was like, these were like 14 year old, like lads. Like, old enough to know how dumb this was, I would say. These weren't like 11 year old or like 10 year old kids. These were like straight up lads. And they were old enough to know how dumb this fucking idea was. Cause they, f they were like maybe 10, 15 feet away from this nest when they split it in half with a rock. And boy, oh boy, those guys, those bugs were mad. <laughs> they, I, I heard them scream. I heard a, through the glass of my, my windows, I heard screams. I heard Zoomer screams. I heard a, ah! and one of them tears into the woods and they all scatter. And I, I took my turn and I drove away laughing my ass off. It was the fucking funny, like, I don't know, they might be dead. One of them stumbled into the road and then cut across the street into the woods the other direction. And I know what was down that road. It's like a creek. It's like a, there's like a drop off. So I hope that they knew that too, because you do not, like, I lived in that fucking town. I, I know the spots. 
There's like a drop off that way. But it's not my problem. Funniest shit I ever saw. Dude, don't fucking... Don't throw shit at... Look, if you're gonna be a dumbass piece of shit, Zoomer, okay. At the very least, don't do it. One next to me and my car. Don't don't rope me into your your stupidity. And it wasn't just that. I was like so mad because there were it's a fucking bike trail. Now any poor bastard that's biking down that bike trail or running is gonna have to go toe to toe with like the enraged hornets. I truly hope those kids got fucking bombarded by by stings. I, I I hope that I hope that they are regretting their decision right now greatly. It's been a couple hours. They've had enough time to to for the adrenaline to calm down and for them to be like, God, we're so fucking dumb. That was the dumbest fucking thing I ever did in my whole life. I hope they learned their lesson. Because I went through like a full that was today. That was today. That was on my way back from the place I was driving when I was stuck behind the grandma and grandpa. That was on my way back. It was the dumbest fucking thing I had ever seen. It was at like two. It's just like, I'm all for like people on their property fucking with hornet's nest, but that was, pu that was a public hornet's nest. I'm not saying, I'm not defending the Hornets. They need to get what's coming to them too. But like, I don't know, catching everyone else in the crossfire on a fucking public bike trail is a real uh, dickhead move. That's a real scumbag stupid move. There were like people on the other side, closer to the nest, that were like looking in the opposite direction, like sitting on their bikes, like talking. And they did not know that like directly behind them, a, 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 a tragedy was occurring. They had no idea. Hornets tend to chill usually, unlike wasps. I cannot confirm if it was hornets or wasps because it all happened so fast once the nest was shattered. The screaming started. I It was a three-way stop, like a three-way stop sign, and there was no other car, so I was going. I wasn't going to sit. I wasn't about to, like... What was it? Like, I was I was worried that one of these fucking idiots was gonna be like, let me in! And like slam on my car door to like escape the hornets. No fucking way, bozo. You're on your own out there. No houses for miles. <laughs> no no houses for like a for at least a two-minute sprint. You're on your own. Best of luck. Did the other bikers get away? Oh, they got away. They're on bikes. I will say this, though. I just don't know why. Look, it doesn't. You don't need to. Most kids where I grew up, you don't make it to. You don't make it to 14 without a horrible, like, bug that stings you encounter. So I don't know how the fuck, I don't know if stuff, if like the insects have gotten softer in the era since I, since I departed my hometown, but I'll tell you what, sometimes you just be walking down the street with, with your boys on the sidewalk after school and someone would stumble a half foot off of the sidewalk and their foot would crunch into a hornet's nest or a wasp nest, whatever the fuck in the ground. You'd hear the crunch, and then you'd see the bees come. You'd see the things come out of the ground. And they'd be like, what's up, asshole? What did you just think? Like an organic landmine. The yellow jackets come. They're angrier than ever. They're one step off the sidewalk like they wanted this to happen. That happened to one of my friends. And uh, boy, oh boy, they were never the same. <laughs> they, they were, uh, that's not an exaggeration. They were never the same. They were always a little jumpier. They were, they, they, 
They were very careful on sidewalks after that, too. They always looking where they're walking. That's why I, again, when I become president, I'm coating this fucking entire stupid ball, all right, in the middle of this big old vacuum of space and concrete. It's all gonna be concrete, baby. Top to bottom. Good fucking luck. Good fucking luck making organic landmines after that. It's all gonna be paved. All of it? All of it. Move to the moon? They should. They can already fly naturally. We have to make expensive machines to do that. They can just do it. Why don't they move to the moon? They already, they were already halfway there. They'll grow larger. Dude, here's the thing. If, if we found out if the first creature, like extraterrestrial creature we discover is like a big ass fucking wasp. I, I will, I will personally make sure that I push over every single spaceship we try to push into space for the rest of eternity. I will show up at Tesla, like SpaceX. I will and just push it over and make sure no one else gets to space. We're not letting them know we're here. I won't let it happen. I'll push, I'll tip them all over. I'll tip them. I mean, we are kind of like big wasps. That's a fucking reach. That's a reach. We're not wasps, we're people. EDF6 came out. Yeah, but like, <laughs> let me know when it's in English. <laughs> Come on, dude. Like, who fucking cares until then, man? I can't speak that language. I can't speak that language. Dude, I'm so excited for when EDF6 is actually localized in my American language in American. God, that'll be so good. Like, I will straight up neglect streaming for a month to play EDF. I don't, I, I, I'll act like I don't know any of you at that point. I'll, I'll truly act like I don't know you anymore. It's the best one ever. Are the, are the reviews in from Japan? Are people saying EDF 6 is the best EDF? Like, I don't, I don't think there's any way they could make it worse. So every EDF is the best EDF, to be fair. Is kind of how I view EDF. God, it's going to be eons before it's localized. God damn, it always takes like a year for them to like translate the five fucking lines in English. There's not a lot. There's not a lot in EDF. There's not a lot of dialogue. There's not a lot of text. But the fact that it takes fucking three years to localize it. The song, though. Dude, there's like 140 missions in EDF 6. Here's the thing. Okay. I don't care. Like, I yes, I care about the English to some extent. Like, the dialogue. I will take the Japanese voice acting and just English subtitles and text. Now, please. I'll take it now, please. I do not care about it that much i don't want to wait an extra year for them to localize all of the dialogue when they could just like give me subs for this because i know for a fact that the japanese campy dialogue will also be plenty of fun 
I can live with that. I really can. Subtitle still takes a while. Not two years. Not two years, my guy. <gasps> Subtitles take so long, nurse. That's why it takes so long. <laughs> nurse, it's gonna be four years for you to have six nerds. The subs. In this, maybe like seven, maybe like 15 years ago, more like, people cared about stuff like that. I think now there's definitely like, there are loads of games on Steam and maybe it's more of a PC thing, but there are loads of games on Steam like made by like smaller Korean teams and like Japanese and Chinese teams that truly have baseline sub like uh, translations. And they're still very fun and very good. And like, you, you can definitely not do the whole thing perfectly translated over to English. You don't, like you can just do like the stuff that's important for the game to be played. I think that I think that as time goes on, stuff will be localized faster as developers realize they don't need to do a perfect one-to-one -one exchange. And I'm excited for that because boy oh boy, it feels bad that EDF6 is out in Japan and I know I won't see it until 2024. I'm not even going to look up EDF6 US release date because I know. No point looking. Apparently EDF6, apparently the game came out on the 25th of August. You guys are like, people were like posting it like it had come out like today. It came out on the 25th of August, chat, in Japan. Just so we're all on the same page. <laughs> Just get a Japanese account. I need to, dude, I played my, listen, I'm stronger than a lot of you. I played Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Switch using a Japanese fucking Switch account. I had to buy I had to buy fucking like Nintendo currency with yen so I could buy Monster Hunter Double Cross on the Switch and play it. Okay? I used fucking Google Translate on my fucking phone. Okay? And I'll tell you what, it was not worth it, and I won't do it again. And that's why I'm going to wait for this fucking EDF6 to come out in English. It wasn't worth it. Because sometimes Google gets confused and doesn't know what the words mean. And it like goes like, uh, I don't know. That could either be like a big owl monster, or it could be a toaster. You tell me. It either says owl or toaster. I do love that uh, most of... Hang on, I can just go to the EDF Reddit. Everyone knows that Reddit's the fucking best source ever for online information. Help! It's mostly people going help. Help! EDF6 coming out. Help! Please! Someone! Explain! People are like asking for lore about EDF6. And like the immediate replies is, I don't fucking know. I used Google Translate and Google Translate got confused really fast. Dude, it made my phone smoke. Why, also, why do you want the lore? <laughs> there is none. Pretty sure IGN has a guide on that. Oh, yuck, dude. I'm on the fucking Reddit and someone asked, is Iron Rain good? Oh, 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 bro, ew. Oh. Oh. 
Well, is it? No. <laughs> no. No, it isn't. Matter of fact, it's terrible. What the fuck is Iron Rain? It's a spin-off EDF game because somehow, despite looking at EDF and everyone knowing it probably takes them about two weeks to make that game, uh, they still sell the license for EDF to other companies all the time so they can also try their hand at making EDF and not one of them can do better than the clowns that work at Sandlot Entertainment. Not one. And it's it's beautiful. The people at, the people at EDF... HQ are very good at making their their trash, and we all love them for it. Uh, but every other game that's ever come out of EDF is a big pile of steamy poo-poo garbage. Uh, and uh, Iron Rain was no different. And no, I will not play the Lego one. Shut up. <laughs> no, I will not talk about or play the Lego one. Shut up now. Play it. No. Hello, is this a Chilla game, Tomato? I'm insulted that you would believe that Chilla would flip a new game out that fast. That's fucked up. Please explain why it's bad. You mean Iron Rain? You said you're an outsider to the whole series. I'm not sure you're going to understand why Iron Rain itself is bad. If you're an outsider to the series and you don't know the games. Iron Rain is bad because they designed the entire game. Uh, it's all bad. It's Dude, it's actually like... Hard. There's so many different parts that make Iron Rain fucking terrible. But the only one that I can speak of that is the most immediately understandable to people just coming into EDF that don't understand is that Iron Rain has five classes. Some classes can do stuff like ride an ant. Some classes can do stuff like shoot their gun good. There's one class in it called the Fencer which is a staple in all EDF games as the violently broken stupid class. However, in EDF Iron Rain, they got rid of class exclusive weapons and they, they, they decided to save some time by giving everyone the same weapons. However, Fencer can carry two weapons at a time and shoot them at the same time. If everyone has the same weapons, okay, but one person can shoot two of them at the same time, at that moment, they are now doing double the damage of everyone else in the game. No one can, f no one can argue that fact. They're able to shoot literally double the damage of someone else because everyone has the same guns. You're carrying a rocket launcher, another guy walks in and they're carrying two of them and they're shooting them both at the same time and reloading as fast as you. This breaks the game. Iron Rain sucks. Glass cannon though? Oh no, no, you misunderstand. Fencer is the tankiest glass in the game. No, 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 you misunderstand. No, 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 no. Fencer's the strongest class in the game. They're the tankiest, they have the most health. They're supposed to be the slowest, but they can also f fly in most games and teleport across the map. Uh... You are just mad because you never touched grass. What is this? Owen from Stupid Town, my guy? I should have gotten out of my car when I was behind those old people and, like, walked alongside them. I probably would have gotten to my destination faster.
I'm confused what the argument was there, though. Are you like, do you enjoy Iron Rain? Is that what this is about? Because I feel so fucking bad for you. <laughs> I actually feel bad for you. I don't say this lightly. I'm worried about you. Pray for them, Sag. <laughs> They're out there killing ants in Iron Rain. What about the newest EDR? Again, I haven't played the newest one with the pixel art because um, I... I hate video games. There, I said it. I hate... I hate video games. Didn't did anyone else dislike EDF5 for having less levels than 4.1? I don't want to sound like an asshole by pointing out that getting outraged because your game doesn't have 200 levels and in, in fact only has 141 levels all with varying difficulties and extra weapons on each difficulty and DLC that adds like 30 more levels per DLC that you'll never beat anyways um I don't want to like I don't want to say that's like a bad that's a bad argument <laughs> like there's other reasons to be like 4.1 is better because of this this and this I don't know I don't know if the level one EDF5 is 110, and it feels like that game already runs for a fucking eternity. And that one specifically also incentivizes replaying levels in a much better way than EDF4. I don't think it's a negative that EDF5 is more compressed. I'm going to be honest, chat. I don't think games should be able to get played forever. I I, I like it when I, when I get to the end of EDF 5. And I'm just reaching the point now where I'm looking around for exits. And it ends exactly when it should. And if there was any more levels, I would go uh, insane and lose my mind. I'd lose my mind. Can someone that's on the, like, that's on the, you know, the EDF6 news bandwagon tell me if Fencer is still as healthily busted as always? Can someone, it's been out for a month or two. Someone can at least inform me. Uh, if Fencer is busted again. Come on. You could just tell me they're busted. If someone walked in with no knowledge of EDF6 and just said, yeah, it's busted again, I'd believe them. Yes, they're just as OP. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. When haven't they been busted? <laughs> Never. Look, chat. Fencers are to the newest versions of EDF as wizards are to D&D. Every other class can go fuck themselves. The devs only like them. There you go. Actually, fencers are trash now. Nah, no one's found the tech is all. Chat. Fencer is always bad. Until you find the tech. There's hidden tech, and one of the devs on EDF is lurking around. They add tech in every single fucking game that allows Fencer to go from being a slow tank into being faster than Sonic. It's all about the tech. You have to locate the hidden dash cancel. There's no tech in EDF5, just good upgrades. Uh, did we play the same game? <laughs> did 
we play the same game? Huh? Just dash boost. No, it's a dash jump. It's, it is tech. I know many people that went through that game without knowing you could do that. To the point where I firmly believe some people in here do not know that you could basically fly as Fencer uh, better than a wing diver in EDF5. You could just fly. Did you guys not know? Did some people actually here not know? Ooh. Ooh, that's a bummer, dude. You played through the whole game, didn't know. I wince. I cringe. They didn't know. <laughs> they didn't know, dude. Bro! They did not know. <laughs> Sad. All right, chat. I talked way too much about a niche game that no one knows what I'm talking about anyway, so I think it's time that we go into the actual game that we were supposed to play. I believe this game is going to open VR, which is so fun. Yes, dude! Hey, since everyone apparently knows the dev that made this game because the second I launched the stream, people are like, Whoa, bro, it's made by this guy! Can you let them know that they need to tick a fucking box? Like the basic, the most basic fucking thing every dev should do on fucking Unreal Engine 4 and untick the thing that launches VR when the game launches because this is amateur hour stuff. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to be mean, it's just at this point... It's uh, it's incredibly aggravating <laughs> that it happens all the time. Do you leave Steam VR open or is it just that pushy? When certain games are launched in Unreal Engine, <clears throat> if you don't tick a setting when you compile the game as a dev, <clears throat> that game will launch Steam VR and change all of the settings on your computer to VR. And it will try to project into your headset. It is there, uh, to my knowledge, this is a single checkbox when you compile the game to tell it to not do this. VR is more annoying than fun. It is when this kind of stuff happens, dude, because then I gotta, like, go in. I, like, cringe when I see Unreal Engine 4 games, because I fucking, I have, I know I have to go into my settings and fix it myself. Okay. It's like if every single game you ever launched on your PC had a 50% chance of launching big picture mode. <laughs> all the time imagine you're just every other game on steam you click the button to launch and it launches in big picture mode imagine that's where i'm at that's my life i'm not even sure if the audio for the game is being output now to the right thing because i know my my audio is working I feel like there's supposed to be music in this game. It's probably outputting to my fucking headset right now. Oh, you know it is. Oh, you fucking know it is, dude. All right, hang on, chat. I gotta tell VR what the default audio is going to be from now on. It's going to be my fucking desktop. Now I gotta relaunch the game because you can't close. You can't, when, when devs do this, you can't close the VR, Steam VR. If you close Steam VR, the game closes because the game thinks it's a VR game. You can't close Steam VR and get rid of the problem. You have to relaunch the whole thing. Joke's on you. I unironically use big picture mode. I hate your guts. I do not like you. I hate you. Okay, I'm going to assume this is working now. 
good news is, uh, yeah, this game's a game about mopping. All right, it's not like we need audio to do that. You know what I mean? Okay, late night mop. Beautiful, beautiful night to get some cleaning done. I rent this place out on uh, on Airbnb. Another big mess. Another day. The uh, renters came in. They made a mess of the place. They leave. I mop it up. I give them a one-star review. I repeat. The carpet looks pretty good. I see a... that. That's not water. That stain there is not water. Because that's a water bottle. And that's like an actual shit smear. On the ground. Simultaneously, this fan is casting a ominous shadow that makes no sense. But I'm not going to worry about that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hey, sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house and do a quick cleanup? I, uh, I made a bit of a mess and uh, I need the house cleaned as I have some guests coming over in the morning. Okay, thank you. I do not know who that guy was that called me at 3 a.m. to mop up his house. But I couldn't say no because they were very polite about it. And they did say thank you and please. So I got up at 3 a.m. I grabbed my trusty mop and I drove to the house. No address given. I could tell. I knew. Do not call Mop Man at 3 a.m. gone wrong. How bad, how dirty can this place really even be? You know? All right. Quick to clean the stain on the floor. Easy, easy. What time is it anyways? It's only 8 p.m. <laughs> I'm gonna say, this isn't even as rude as I initially believed. It's only 8 p.m. It's a lovely day. It's only 8. That PNG disappearing was really scary. Chat, I'm not playing this game because it's a horror game. I'm playing it because I like playing mopping games. We're different people. <laughs> we are, we are, we are different people, you and I. Okay, some people install game, like, spooky games about mopping so they can mop. While being scared, I truly, if the ghost never shows up, it's a good day. All right. This kind of looks like a guy with a really small head and a really big body, doesn't it? Yeah, what's that sound? Do you all hear that? Hello? I heard like a sound. Heard like someone was. Did you hear that? Someone was going like outside the outside the ding dang window. Well, uh, we go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, let's make sure that none of these. Okay, these door these doors are all locked. Aside from the bathroom. Oh, that's shit. <laughs> yeah, it smells like shit because it's shit. Oh, that's. That is a smear of just. Oh. 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 Okay, we can't actually. Dude, this is. This shot is the worst shot in the game. This is vile. This is fucking vile. There's the toilet existed. All right. Trash, trashed. Stain, cleaned. Room, good as new. Is this door new? Hang on. Or it's blocked. Well, we're not going in that way. Tomato, please, I'm eating. One, that's never stopped me before talking about disgusting shit on my stream. Two, you should know better. I, I, I don't know what the hell you're, what the hell you're thinking. <laughs> I, I just don't know what you're thinking. Whoa, whoa. 
I got a, all right, I got a bottle of water. Uh, I'm not filtering recycles, recyclables with normal trash. We're just going to... This is a horrible, horrible kitchen. This place... What is going on with this kitchen? All right, so we have a two-chair ta two table. This is a giant house. But yet, for some reason, the kitchen is this strange, like, hovel... Of different, like, m mixing parts? I don't know. And we have an industrial stove. And, like, a super fridge. Alright, well, all these bottles of water are going directly in the trash. Then I heard something. Probably nothing. Thought I... Asset flipper house. Shay, you know how hard it is to make assets in video games? Mildly complex. Okay, so how about you back the fuck up a little bit? All right. Where's your assets, huh? You complain about asset flipping so much? Where? How about how about how about you make some assets? Hmm. How about how about how about you make an asset right now? All right. What does that sound? That wasn't just in my head. We all heard it that time. I waited for for a second. You guys hear that? Is that? Hang on a second. Wait a minute. Hold up. First, I was kind of on the on the I was kind of on the dev side of like, how dare you complain about asset flips? Is that an asset literally flipped? Is that one literally flipped? Oh my god. Let's let's just worry about mopping this place up, dude. You can't just that. This rug is ruined. Like you don't just mop that up. I, just, I keep hearing that sound. It's like this weird crackling sound. That was that. Oh, I'm not done cleaning. <laughs> Get to that part of the house after I'm done with this part of the house. Mop the rug. Oh, this is like a fuzzy rug. This rug is ruined. You don't just... You don't just mop this rug up. This rug is fucking ruined. You, you just can't. Jesus! Someone... Someone needs to go to the doctor. On this one. I don't know what the fuck this is. This better be like some kind of mud tricked in. First time cleaning. This is like, that is like a, that is a stain made by SCP-106 emerging from the fucking ground and grabbing someone. That is ectoplasm. That's not a goddamn stain. That's not something you get from spilling like a soda. That's a creature crawling out of the ground to get someone. Okay. One bottle. Oh, yeah. If something was going to get me, it'd be when I'm walking back and forth through this room, picking up all this trash. Guys, get ready. There might be a jump scare in a second. <coughs> there might be some kind of jump scare in a second, chat. Every, everyone buckle up. <laughs> you guys think a jump scare is going to happen before I pick up that key that clearly goes to the locked office room that we have to go and inspect? Or do you think all of this was truly a cleaning game until the exact moment I pick up that key that activates the spooky ghost?
All right. I've got the key. I got what we came for. I better turn on my reaction cam for this part because you guys know gonna have, there's gonna be a reaction. All right, I'm gonna turn on the reaction for this one. Let's react. All right, I'm in reaction mode. Let's get fucking ready. Let me get my stretches in. Ah, uh, we're gonna have to uh, react for this one. I'm gonna react. All right, I reacted. So now, now I can play the rest of the game normal again. Was that enough of? But do I have to? <laughs> <laughs> I thought something would happen. I turned it. I turned it off again because I got embarrassed because nothing happened. I was ready to react, and it did nothing. It didn't come at me. Hello? 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 This is more than I bargained for. I'm out of the street. <laughs> Was that was that weird guy enough to get you? Was that like more than you bargained for? Was that was that too much for you? The weird man that got keyframed to the left behind you. Guys, get ready. There's gonna be another reaction in a second. <laughs> Buckle it up. The webcam's too much. I can turn it off, but then we'll miss the reaction. Cause I think I think I'm gonna have to react here. There's so much fucking slime on the goddamn ground. I don't think any more spooks are gonna happen until I pick up the next key, so I'm gonna turn off the reaction. Uh, we gotta clean up the slime first. There's a lot of slime on the ground. I, nothing else is gonna happen. The key is what activates. Oh, the I missed it. My hand did not reach the button in time for the reaction chat. I want to apologize on this one. I uh, I know a lot of people were excited for the reaction. And um, we're going to have to get it next time. We're going to have to get it next time. On this one. Apology. Apologize now. I, I'm canceling my sub. I'd like to fucking see you try. All right, asshole. Secondly... Okay, then we're not gonna miss the next one because the reaction. I'm gonna. I'm. One thing I can promise you, after all this chat, is that there's gonna be a big reaction. All right, coming up. I'm gonna react fucking hard on the next one to make up for the disappointment a lot of this audience has experienced from the lack of reaction. All right, this next one is gonna be a huge reaction. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. This one's going out to all of you. That, that believed in me, that were counting on me to- I fucking actually wasn't looking <laughs> that time. I- I was looking at the chat that time. Oh, fuck. It's so bad because this is like the- apparently this is like the Markiplier- This game was like made for Markiplier and like if I can't even keep up for a fucking goddamn second out here, what the fuck am I even doing? I don't know what to- I don't know what else to say. Alright, 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 alright. Dial in! Crack my neck. Oh, I crack my back. Focus up. Focus up. When I get my head in the fucking game, dude, I've missed every reaction. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, fuck, this place is fucked, dude. Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh geez, man. Oh, 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 and there's like some kind of fucking slime. I'm gonna have to clean that. That's gonna take a couple. That's gonna take a couple more. Dude, I'm fucking, I'm, dude, that's freaking me the heck out, bro. That's freaking me the heck out, dude. 
All right. There's been no, there's been nothing to react to, honestly. On this one. Missed it? I didn't miss it. Don't you fucking joke. Don't goof around like that. I didn't fucking miss it. You and I both know I didn't miss anything. I did not miss it. I did not fucking miss it. Under the bed. There, I didn't miss it. Don't you fucking lie to me. I didn't miss it. No, 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 guys. I swear. I swear. The, 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 it's going to happen any fucking second now, chat. And then I'm going to get scared. The reaction will happen. And my, I'll be able to. Everyone's going to have a good time. Okay. Get the clip. Get the clip and prove it. Guys. Don't worry. This is so embarrassing. I've done worse. This is nothing. In the grand scheme, even if I completely missed the next reaction, it wouldn't fucking matter for a goddamn second chat. I, I assure you of that. All right, I I, I still have I, I have other values. I'm I'm still cool. Let's uh. I mean, I have nothing else to. I think I can just go now. I I believe I cleaned the place. I think I, I'm gonna go. Yeah. Yep. I'm still cool. Dude, it, it was still funny, though. It's still a fun game, though, right? Like, even though we missed everything, even though all of it was missed, it was still, like, a fucking funny game. Right? <laughs> right, chat? That got me. Dude, that guy, did you see me jump there? That got me. That got me, 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 that got me. You all saw. You all saw, right? Was that funny? Was that fucking, was that an Omega lol? Laugh now. Laugh it up. Come on. I'm going to turn this off now. Oh, there was more to the game. I was ready for like a jump scare. I tried to turn it on in time and nothing happened. You made me look like a fool. Thanks a lot. Oh, and also, you're fired. See, instead of getting a scare reaction, you got instead the reaction of me, like a live reaction of someone being fired from their job, which I think is a lot scarier than like a jump scare. Uh, you got unemployed reaction. That's fun. Bewildered. <laughs> the reaction of bewilderment. I... I lost. I'd say I lost. Look, chat, here's the thing, is that there's multiple endings, so I have a window right now to get back in there and try again and react the way people wanted me to. Okay. Hang on. There's actually extras. I think I can enable, like, a secret game mode, which might make this more fun. Hang on. Hold up. I'm gonna restart the game. This is, like, actually super important to me. I'm going to restart the game. Is there a funny ending? I'd say like being suddenly unemployed for no reason is fucking hilarious. Also, the extras option disappeared when I restarted. So that's really fun because the escape button also didn't work. It's fine. We'll, uh, we'll get ourselves a real ending this time. Sorry for calling you so late, but uh, would you mind going by the house and do a- Tomato, clip? I got that clip of the missed I, uh, scare if you want to see it. And, uh, I need the house cleaned. As yeah, I hand it over. Right now. Over in the morning. Put it in the chat. Okay, thank you. Put it, put it in the chat, please. Okay, chat, here's what we're gonna fucking do. Alright, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Hang on. Hang on. I can, I can, I can truly fix this. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna grab the- the, the clip. Pull it up and I'm just gonna fucking, I'm gonna pull. Okay. I'm going to mute it. And I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm covering my own face. We'll just redo it. I missed it again. I missed it again. What happened? I, I missed it again. I missed it again. Where was it? <laughs> wait, wait, where was it? What happened? 
Can someone get the clip of me doing this a second time and just give it back to me again so I can just like not miss it a third time? Can we get a third take on that? Send me send me the clip of what just happened. We'll we'll loop back on it later. We'll see if I can catch on like the the the, the third lap. I'm gonna try not cleaning anything this time. After the first clean. Probably get like a secret ending on this or something. Nope. I'll do the tutorial ones and then we're moving on. Okay, is that the is that the official retake? Okay, hang on. Uh, yeah, let's grab that. Back on. Let's grab that. Hang on, give me a second. I'll pull it up. This time for sure. This time for sure. Okay, here we go. All right, all right. I'm gonna unpause it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't. Wait. <laughs> so that time I made the sound, but I really did not see it. It's like, all right, what was it? Hang on. Actually, we're gonna really rewind it this time. <laughs> what, what? What happened? What happened? There's nothing at the bed. <laughs> all right, Chet. Uh, I'm not really sure what what's happening here. I'm not really sure if this is like an it's like a oh there's like a there's like some kind of noodle. Oh, I see it now. There's some kind of noodle. So like I guess in reality the reaction all of you guys were hoping for was like a was like a. Oh, what the like kind of like that. Like that's not a big scare. Like most people wouldn't fucking see that. You that that's like a you, that's not like a scream scare. That's more of like a whoa kind of scare. So that there's your reaction for that one. Um, I think we can all agree though. Looking at like my actual reaction here, there is a lot lacking even without seeing it. I think I could have really brought a lot more to the table on this one in general because like I I. Uh, you could see my eyes were just like not looking at the thing and that's like the critical analysis there I think I need a wider FOV in real life uh, But hey, you know what? We're getting better every day dude. We're getting better every fucking day, bro. Let's get out there I'm gonna skip all the mechanics this time and get the secret ending All right I'm not feeling anything on this one, dude. I tried to like force an emotion out on that one. It just kind of hurt. I don't, that that one didn't do anything for me. That's not a very scary one. That, that one, there's no loud sound to cue me up. There's nothing, there's nothing teeing me up. You know what I mean? I need like something to tee me up. Or I'm just not gonna, I'm just not gonna get it. The magic's gone. Are you just making fun of Markiplier? <laughs> You could actually see latency coming off of the lighting. You could see that I was about a half second off. <laughs> that was a fake reaction I produced for uh, for your entertainment. So late. I'm trying so fucking hard, Chet. It's not easy. Look, what other what they do is not easy. Did I miss it again? Did I miss the did I miss the noodle again? I think I missed the noodle. I heard the sound. Did I miss it? Fuck. Okay. Right here, chat. Right here is where this is where we would have caught uh this exact situation right here. So we'll just dub it in again. Uh we'll just rewind it. So this is what happens is I turn the corner and I go, whoa, whoa. And then, and then we cut back to the actual game. Whoa. <laughs> Fucking crazy. So how do I get chat? Cause here's the thing. <laughs> I'm not cleaning this whole fucking house again. I already did it and I got fired for it. So you're going to tell me right now how I get the secret ending. Cause I'm not. I'm not cleaning it. Do I have to actually perfectly clean this whole place? I'd rather die. 
You have to clean everything again. I'm not enjoying this bit. Who asked, Dudley? Who asks, you fucking moron? No one fucking asked. There's three. Leave, clean everything, or die. How do I die? When, when do... When do I die? <laughs> well, at what point... At what point do I just choose to die? Just do it. Old age? You wanna know, huh? I need to get out of here. <laughs> Chat, I think we can all agree on one thing right now. I need to get out of here. I don't know if Tomato should be YouTube reacting with his blood pressure. This There's this new era of chat members that are deeply concerned about my medical health in an unironic way. It's it's not it I don't I barely interpret it as jokes now. I interpret it as genuine concern like when you see an old person crossing a fucking street. And they're just like, I don't know. I don't know, Tomato Gaming, your time is up. Like you might want to Dude, Markiplier literally played this and he's older than me. By a, ma by a vast margin. He's like an old dying man compared to me. A young spry zoomer. Okay? So I don't give two... Like, what What are you talking about? I can take it. I can still I can still keep up. I can still keep up. Yeah, but he's built. I'm taller than him. <laughs> I've seen him in real life. I'm bigger. I don't know what else to say other than that, dude. There it is. <laughs> there it is, dude. That's what it's always that's what it's all been about, dude. That's what it's all about. I I'm actually just subconsciously playing a cleaning game now. I I, I pre-activated all of the scares and now I really am just mopping floors. This is where I wanted to be. This is what I asked for. Now I'm just playing a nice, relaxing cleaning game. I could be playing Viscera cleanup detail right now, but instead I'm cleaning up cans in this game. I'm just keeping an eye on it because I'm not gonna miss it a 12th time. I'm not gonna miss it. If it activates here. All right, fuck this game, we're done. We did it, dude. We did it, dude, we can close this fucking game. We're moving on. I got there. We got there, dude. We got there, dude. We got it, we got the reaction. We, we got there. All right, next game on the list today is gonna be a different kind of horror that I think we'll all enjoy quite a bit. I, I think this one's, I think this one's, people are gonna like this. It's not on, it's not on uh, Twitch uh, as a directory. So I'm just gonna put the category under spooks. We all know what that means. We all know what spooks means in this case. This is a cursed horror game. It's called Cold Line. It's called Cold Line. And it's not the kind of horror game you think it is. But it is topical. What with Armageddon on the horizon? 1962, the height of the Cold War. Turn this off. You are the chairman of the USSR. Due to a technical failure, a 50 megaton nuclear warhead is on its way to New York City. Thanks to breakthroughs in Soviet aviation, your military advisor estimates that delivery 
in 10 minutes. Whoa! The big one. Your last hope of preventing Armageddon is to get the US Army to intercept the plane. Time to call the president. Uh, all right. Uh, 911. They're not gonna answer. What if they don't answer? Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. <laughs> Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? Press one. If your matter is less I'm, I'm gonna leave this and you would like this. to speak to a representative, press two. I'm gonna take a one, I for think. For other matters, this press is an three. urgent this is an urgent matter. I'm gonna take a one. In order for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Please enter your six digit identification code and close with pound. Jerry? We ha do we have that? I don't know what it is. In order uh, for us to connect you to the president, we will need a verification code. Please enter your six digit identification code and close with pound. That was not the right code or you may not have the clearance to contact the president. I can Please assure you lady, I have the clearance. All right. Again and close with pound. Ah, uh, fuck. That was not the right code. You didn't even let me put pound in that time. The president. Please enter your Washington Moscow hotline verification code again and close with pound. Uh, all right. Uh. That was not the right code. You didn't let me finish it all. You didn't even let me get through the whole thing. The president. Please enter your Washington Moscow hotline. They didn't even let me get through the whole thing before they cut me off that time. Pound. That was not the right code, or you may not have the clearance to contact the president. Please enter your Washington Moscow hotline verification code again and close with pound. Jerry, how's it going on the uh, on the verification code? That was not the right code. Or Lady, I haven't put one in in hours. The president. How do I hang up? Please. Reset. That was not the right code. Help. Would you like to try again? No. No. Press one. No, I do not want to try again. Like to return to the main menu, press two. Main menu. Hi. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter? And yes. would you like a direct line with the president? No. 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 Press one. What's the level if below your urgent? Is less urgent, and you would like to speak to a representative? Press two. Two. We value your call. A representative will speak with you shortly. Okay. You are 14th in line. Expected wait time is Lay it on me. 34 minutes. Yeah. All right. I've waited in longer lines. I played Overwatch too. I, I, I've been there on ground zero. All right, this is nothing. Our wait times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Press one. If you would like to go back to the main menu, press two. We value your call. A representative will speak with you shortly. You are 14th in line. I really thought they would have moved me up. wait time is 34 minutes. I was really banking on them moving me up. Maybe we call like Indonesia and we have Indonesia call America for us. That's how Blizzard would have us do it. If we wanted to reach Blizzard HQ, that's what we'd do. It might be the same rules. Our wait times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Press one. If you would like to go back to the main menu, press two. Hi. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow. Yeah, I, thought, I, I know. Thank you for your call. I know. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with the president? Nope. 
Press 1. No. If your matter is less urgent and you would like to speak to a representative, press 2. Nope. For other matters, press 3. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press 1. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press 2. If you're calling about applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code or getting a reminder for your verification code, press 3. 3 is too easy. Trade the agreement. The United States prides itself on its trade accords with many nations around the world. To learn more about trade accords and how you might We do need to us, renew them. Press 1. The United States Trade Relations and International Commerce Bureau has a wide array of trade-related resources that might help your nation. Right on. Visit www.us-trade.gov for more information. Write that down, write that down. To return to the main menu, press zero. Fuck! Hi. Hey. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and yeah. would you like a direct line with the president? Nope. Press Skip to three. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, press oh. one. If you're calling about our nuclear program... Nuclear program. I'll just tell them to do it straight. The United States prides itself on its advanced nuclear technology. Oh, yeah? To learn more about how nuclear weapons prevent war, press one. To learn... Lay it on me. War is never the right answer. True. We are always looking for ways to prevent war, such as through peace accords. You guys gotta... I'm to trying... More, I'm really looking for a way to prevent w war right w now, dude. Org. To return to the main menu, press zero. No. They return... They return to main menu me. Hi. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct... If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House... I WANT TO TALK ABOUT NUKES! Please select a type of weapon which you would like to know more about. Press 1 for offensive weapons such as intercontinental ballistic missiles. Press 2 to know more about defensive weapons such as interception planes. Interception planes! Defensive weapons include jet fighters that are designed specifically to take down a moving ballistic missile. Yep. Did you know? You can order emergency military operations such as the interception of an accidental nuclear missile from this menu. Yes! To do so, you need to have a military special permission code that consists of two numbers based on speed of the missile and two numbers based on the best interception method. To know more about speed, press 1. To know more about the type of interception method, press 2. If your ballistic missile is slow moving, press 1. Nope! If your ballistic missile is fast moving and can cross thousands of miles in minutes, press 2. Yep! Fast moving ballistic missiles have a military special permission code that starts with 4, 0. To learn more about interception methods, four, press 1. Zero. To return to the menu, press 2. If your ballistic missile is sent from the Northern Hemisphere, it requires an X-form interception method. For more about this method, press 1. Yep. X-form ballistic interception methods have a military special permission code that ends with the digits 81. To learn eight, more about one. ballistic speeds, press 1. To return to the menu, press 2. 4081. Hi. Hi. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Oh, it put us all the way back. Call. Oh, it put Are us all the way back. Urgent? It put us all the way back, dude. We have your call. A representative. We have 60 you seconds. You are 14th in line. Expected wait time is 34 minutes. It's been a pleasure, Chad. Really has. Yes. It's been a pleasure. Our wait times are unusually high right now. It might be best to try again at another time. Would you like to continue waiting? Yeah, I mean... One. 
If you would like to go back to the Yeah, I think I'll be I'll stay on hold. We value your call. A representative will speak with you shortly. Right on. Hopefully it's you in the next 10 seconds. 14th in line. Expected wait time is 34 minutes. I tried my hardest out there, dude. I tried my fucking hardest out there. I really did. I really I really tried my fucking hardest out there. New York City is uh, gone. It's a crater. Damn shame what happened in New York. Oh well, we'll live. <laughs> Life will go on. Everywhere but in New York, where they're dead. We can do this, dude. Listen, we got we got tripped up fast, but I think we're I think we're gonna do better this time. Good ending. <laughs> Some people really hate New York, dude. reached the United States Washington Moscow hotline. Thank you for your call. Yep. Are you calling about an urgent matter and would you like a direct line with nope, the president? I know better. Press one. Three. If you're calling about renewing trade accords with the White House, nope. press one. If you're calling about our nuclear program, press two. Maybe. If you're calling about applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code or getting a reminder for your verification code, Press three. Yeah. To apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification code, press one. Sure. To apply for a new verification code, we need to know if you are a low ranking or high ranking official. Fuck. If you are low ranking, press one. If you are high ranking, press two. Unfortunately, we are not admitting low-ranking officials of other nations to apply for a Washington Moscow hotline verification is, code at this time. There it fucking is, dude. To return to the main menu, press zero. Oh, fuck you. Hi. Hey. You Three. have reached the United States Washington. Three. If you're calling Three. about renewing trade accords with the White House. Three. To apply for Washington Moscow hotline verification code, press one. one. To apply for a new verification code, we need to know if you are a low ranking or high ranking official. I was just being humble. If you are low ranking, press one. If you are high ranking, press two. What is your function? If you are head of defense, press one. If you are head of international relations, press two. If you are president, king or chairman of your nation, press three. In order to grant you a Washington Moscow hotline verification code, we need to confirm you are not a robot. Please type the following code, one, four, six, two, and close with the pound key. Thank you for applying for a Washington Moscow hotline verification code. There it is, dude. Your code is four. Four, five, Fuck. seven, eight, three. To get a reminder five, of your code, three. use your reminder key, which is one, three, three. To return to the main menu, press zero. We got it, dude. It was that easy. It was five. that easy. We got it. You have reached the United States Washington Moscow hot. Yep. In order for us to connect you to the president, legally, I'm the king of Russia. Code. Please enter your six digit identification code and close with the pound. Thank you for inputting your verification code. You got it. Welcome back, Chairman Lenkov. We will now redirect you to the president. Please oh. wait. Answer. Unfortunately, the president is out of office at this time. Would you like to book an appointment? Press one. 
Is there an emergency that cannot wait? Press two. Two, it's a two. It's a two. It's a two on this one. Understood. We are dedicated to helping you out with your emergency. Can you tell us more about what type of emergency you're experiencing? Is Inter the nature of your emergency economic? Intercontinental. Press one. Is the nature of your Ballistic. emergency related to nuclear war? Warhead. Press we are very concerned to hear you are experiencing an emergency regarding nuclear war, and we take oh! it very seriously. Oh, good. To good. help us understand the problem, very can you good. tell us if your emergency endangers U.S. soil or not? If yes, press one. Yeah, yeah. Imminent emergencies that threaten U.S. territory is a very important issue. Is it possible that you may have accidentally targeted the United States and need help with intercepting a missile? If yes, press one. Yep. Glad it's that specific. Did you know you can order a special interception military mission from this menu? In order to do so, we need the military special permission code that aligns with the type of ballistic missile. If you have a code ready, press one. I do. It's 4081. Enter the four digit military special permission code to engage an interception mission, then close with the pound key. The code you entered is for intercepting a fast-moving missile with an X-form interception method. Are you sure you want to continue? Press 1. If you are unsure, press 2 to return to the main menu. Yeah. Are you absolutely sure? Remember, this action can only be performed once. What the fuck is this? Is press this, 1 if you are absolutely sure. Yeah, lady, I'm fucking press absolutely sure. What like the fuck is this? The <laughs> are you a real person or are you actually a robot? Understood. We will send out a special military interception operation right away. Ooh. Thank you for your cooperation. It's as simple as that. I'm a hero. I saved the world. I'm the master of phone menus. I'm also legally the chairman of uh, the USSR. Or something. Simple as that. You're welcome, everyone. I saved your lives. You'd all be dead if not for me. Is there a neutral ending? I'm pretty sure there's only two endings, and it's either the nuke destroys New York or it does not because you stop it. I'm not entirely sure how there could be any others. I believe that's the two. Next game, next game, next game, next game. Next game, dude. What's the next game is the thing? Uh, let's do, hmm. This one's about not littering. Please don't litter. Don't litter. Please, don't litter. All caps. Respect the goddamn law. A few years ago, an anomalous object appeared in one of the cities. He looked like a big timer. <laughs> we named him Timmy. Because of this, Oh, hang on. Every 10 seconds, it generates tons of garbage. Because of this, the inhabitants of the city had to be evacuated. Big fucking timer shows up in the middle of town and spits out trash. What a stupid sounding SCP. <laughs> Big timer, every 10 seconds, dumps a ton of garbage onto the ground. That's it. People are told to move out of their houses because like a fucking weird ass clock is shitting out like garbage on the street. A few months later, the city turned into a dump. In order not to completely litter the whole world, they began to hire garbage collectors. Garbage collectors work almost day, almost all night and hardly get paid. You are one of the garbage collectors. I fucking love trash. I fucking love trash. Ugh! 
Oh! It's very literal. So you're telling me in another 10 seconds, we're just gonna... This place is a, is a fucking shithole. I'll tell you that right now, dude. This place is a goddamn shithole. I've seen this bottle of water. <laughs> Wait a fucking minute. I swear to God, I've seen this bottle of water before. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. There's the timer. <laughs> All right. One garbage. Two garbage. No, this is easy. Like, there's a reason we don't get paid a lot. It's because it's an easy fucking job. All right, anyone, you can just walk in and do this. Uh, this ain't even garbage. This is just someone's, uh, like, package. But we'll go ahead and throw that in, too. Uh, once again, someone's unopened package. But we'll just throw it in there. We're not going to check what's in it. Uh, real food. A can of, like, uh, actual edible food. Made by this magical machine. Just throw that in the trash. Uh, another box for someone, probably. Probably throw it in the garbage. Uh, what is that? A can of... Beans? A can of some kind of beans? My package! We have another can of beans. And ten items goes into one... I'm guessing bag. Two bags. Which... Wait, I have a question, sir. If all I'm doing is picking up the things and putting them into bags and then putting them in another bag in a big bucket over here... It, surely we have a more efficient method to get rid of this garbage than to just move it like 10 yards to the left. I don't have time to care. All right, the world needs me. People are counting on me. Fuck. Are you kidding me? Oh, I got it. It's all okay. We got there. Oh. Does this count? Okay. I don't actually need to take out any trash because there's more garbage bags appearing faster than I can make the trash bags. So I'm just gonna go ahead and what's the timer for? The timer is an SCP and every 10 seconds it makes more garbage. Watch. It's like magic. Wow. Ow, fuck, ow. It's like an SCP because it just makes garbage. That's its magic. Insane reaction. What do you mean it's- I, that's barely a reaction! Dude, I can't start- chat can't start being like, uh, this reaction, I'm gonna give this one a fucking 2 out of 10, and this one's fucking weird. I don't like this reaction. Dude, I practiced reactions long and hard, alright, today, on stream. I deserve a little bit more credit. Hang on, I gotta turn this all into bags. Does that even count? I don't think that counted for anything. One, two, ow, three. Only some of this is trash. A lot of it is just boxes of stuff for people to use. Five, six, seven, it's a living. Eight, nine, 10. Oh, wait. I'll just use this bag I found. Alright, this will finish the job. Alright. Yep. This game is a metaphor about adding new content to Battlefield 2042. A bit of a fucking reach on that one, my guy. I'm not so sure about that. True! True, dude! Wait, you... Most of the garbage we brought uh, over to that thing fell out of the back. 
Oh, you done. Oh, what's up, man? Who, who is this? Dude? You must be a garbage collector, right? I help people like you. You want to get out of here? I know how to get out of here. You must fill the container for the drone to return. And we fly away with it. Let me know when you fill the container. All right, man, it's gonna take me a little bit. I gotta fill up a ton of these fucking bags. I get like, you know, you know, you could like help me. You know, you could help me. You could stop sitting on your fucking ass on the dumpster and fucking actually help me because this place is, it's starting to get a little out of hand. I would describe this as getting out of hand uh, right now. Most of this is perfectly good. I would eat food out of these cans, chat. I would describe nothing as cleaner than coming out of the sky like this. Like, look at this. That's a fucking can of food right there. I'm a freak for eating this. Bro, it was materialized. There's no dirt on it. It was materialized out of thin fucking air. Actual fools, actual fools, real SCP germs. Holy shit, dude. If a scientist took out a ray gun and he shot the ray gun at the ground and out of that fucking like laser came a perfectly, a perfect mint condition taco, you'd be like, I don't fucking know, dude. That's got protons on it. I don't know, dude. That's got protons on it. It's not sure about that. He eats sky food, Omega Lull. I'm, I just fucking, every day, I wake up and I, 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 I'm happy. A tear falls from my eye, a tear of joy. Because I know I'll never, ever, ever be as fucking stupid as some of these bozos in chat, dude. I know for a fact. All right, I know for a fact. And it, 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 it makes me cry a little. Out of joy. Out of pure joy. Out of pure, pure, just unfiltered joy. I will never go hungry. Why would we ever want to leave, man? Why would you ever want to escape this place? We have everything we could ever want right here. We can make a life for ourselves out of all these infinite boxes. Why, why would you ever leave? Sure, not much water comes down, but none of these cans are open. They're perfectly good. Make a home out of boxes, a sick fort. The boxes are getting, it's getting a little out of hand, Chet. I'm gonna be honest though. The amount of trash. Oh. Save us a little bit of time. All this stuff is super radiated, I bet. God, that's so, you're so, you guys are so afraid of everything around you. There's no confirmation of that. You should be more worried about one of them, like like a can falling from the sky from like 50 feet up and just cracking you right in the head and fucking killing you. That's a realistic concern. Being like, I don't know, dude, it might give me cancer. That's bullshit. And you know it as well as I do. There's no way this strange alien thing that fell out of the sky is gonna give anyone cancer. All right? That's a little intolerant, more so than anything. That's, a little, that's being a little mean to this giant fucking timer. That's being, that's being a little toxic. Maybe you're the toxic one. You know, I know you've been probably thinking that this thing's the toxic person here. Maybe it's fucking you. Maybe it's you. Saying it's gonna give us cancer just being around us. You don't know that. Oh, we're ready to go. Never mind, we're done cleaning. So we just sit here? I really feel like we should be filling these up more. This does not feel safe. This doesn't feel safe. Yeah. Made it, man. I mean, this was my job. I got paid for this. And most of the trash is falling out at this point. Is this... 
Somewhere in the dump, there's a trail on which you can safely leave here. On it, the guards will not notice you. I know one person who will help you get to him. Lives somewhere in the garbage unloading area. Most of my work has fallen out. Is this what happens every time? Unfortunately, I'll have to go to him alone. I won't be able to go with you. Why? We're going... Are we not... What do you mean? Get ready to jump! Jump! The dude didn't tell me the name of the guy? Wait, we didn't jump. We got dropped. I'm sorry, but I can't keep walking with you. Good, lu good luck getting out of this dump. I cannot believe not one bag of the trash I collected this entire time has ever made it out of the dumpster. Like, has ever actually made it out of the dump. They all fall back onto the... Is, is that why there were bags of trash landing on me? Were those my old bags? What? See you later, man. I have no animation budget. Go without me. Chat, don't be fucking mean. All right? Wow. This place is so fucking filthy. Please don't throw items at this truck. Thank you. Fucking make me. Stop. It's not a very powerful boss, is it? It's not a very... It, it, th this creature... This creature is not... I do not think its odds of defeating me are very high. Uh, I'm... Kind of handily dispatching it. By throwing Amazon Prime boxes at it. And cans of... Keys. Can't wait for Tomato to eat his words when the health bar reaches 25%. What do you think this thing has a phase fucking two? You really think the trash car has a phase two? Well, it's at 25%. Nothing's happened. Better enter its second phase pretty soon or it's gonna be over, chat. Oh, don't you all look like real fools right now talking about phase two. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna take I'm gonna take it down with this old with this old can of soup. Do not know why I did this. Chat. I I'm pretty sure there's someone driving this car. He looks like he's really mad at me. He's just yelling at me through the windows. Like just screaming something at me. I think he's fucking pissed off. Uh I guess I won. I think I won the whole game. I also don't think I had to do that to win. Either. Oh wait, no, it's the only way to unlock this door. Alright. We're leaving. Hey. Hey. I take it you wanna get out of this junkyard. There's an abandoned station not far away. It has no security. So you can safely leave here by train. The problem is you have to swim across the river to get there. I'll lend you a boat if you help me. Fill the four containers to my left. Put each type of garbage in its own container. Is this a... This isn't a horror game. This is just a teach me how to recycle game. I see. Which is fine. Uh, but I will say this. 
Um, I will, I will say this, however. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little surprised. I also don't know what goes into which one of these. Oh no. Oh, plastic. Oh fuck. Is this a plastic? All right, let's worry about plastics first. <laughs> you know, filtering my recyclables wasn't something I really truly believed I'd be doing today on the horror stream, but uh, so far we've mopped, we've, an we've gone through a phone, an automated phone calling system. And now we're filtering water bottles. You saved New York for this? I'm just... Chat, I don't know if I missed part of the lore in this game, but it sounded like we were, uh, I don't know, not prisoners. Our... It's... That... I don't like that bad. It sounded like we were like employees and we liked making money and working here. Even though it wasn't good pay, it was still pay. I, I'm i paid to do this job. I don't know if maybe these people have the wrong guy. Maybe that's what it is. All right, metal. Is this metal? This looks like metal. All right. This one, uh, also probably metal. Okay, all cans are metal. I mean, I, I knew that in re I, in real life, I know that. Okay, I, I don't, I do know that. In real life, I know. I, I swear. I swear it. Managers disguised as cool guys to get you to do your job. Do you think this is all an elaborate like trick? by like my bosses to like send me on a quest to take out the trash and then they'll just be like and that I hope this taught you a lesson about working hard all right cuz jobs work can be fun i've got like an undercover boss scenario my boss is currently hanging out with his like pet duck pet goose glass I'm done recycling that stuff. This is just sad. The character next to me is like, I'll let you cross the river. If you take out all my, if you help me sort my garbage. And every time I sort a little bit, more falls from the fucking sky. I'm not entirely sure why we're doing this. It's weird that we're getting a lot of these mundane horror games lately. I love mundane chat. No joke. I think there's a market for horror games where there is no horror. It's a new genre that I'm, I'm quite enjoying. I'm all for it. I love my horror games without any horror at all. Matter of fact, when something spooks me in any of my games on Fridays, I get a little angry. I get a little fucking pissed off. I consider sending outraged messages to the devs on Twitter. Because what I like is mildly unpleasant games, not horror games. I like my games a little unpleasant. All right, sir, I got, I did your recyclables. All the glass ones are in the green one. Let's get out of here. Oh, thank you very much. You can take the boat. Good luck getting out of this dump. Thanks. Looks like we're finally making it out of this dump. Simple as that, chat. How do I eat? Oh. Would a train not be the worst fucking thing to have here? What with trash constantly falling onto the rails? That was easy. Oh, I gotta get ready to react. Hang on, there's something coming. I... Uh, 
was all trash, top to bottom. Hold up. What? <laughs> the name of the game was Please Don't Litter. It really... This game really did just want to te chat. You can't be mean. The game really did just want us to learn to not litter and to understand how to take out garbage and do our recyclables correctly. Okay? And honestly, if you say you don't like this game, you're a scumbag that hates the environment. And I hate you. I hate your guts if you think that. I just, I hate you. All right, next game. Maybe I pull out a scary game. <laughs> I got a game here called Toilet Rooms. I got a game here called The Toilet Rooms. It's a fucking toilet right there. Dude, my lighting makes it look like I am, in fact, truly in this game, in the toilet rooms. Mods, you can go ahead and put a poll up now if uh, there is a funny poop joke at some point in this game built in. Uh, that'll be a fun little poll. I haven't played this game. A lot of the games today, I just downloaded and did not even do any research on if they were good or not. We don't know what we're in for at any point. Either this is a game about a scary toilet or a toilet is going to like tuck or something insane. Like I, I honestly, we have, there's a 50, 50 chance. A poll for poop jokes. Come on. All right, let's get this fucking ball rolling. You got time to type about it in the chat, mods. You got time to fucking post the poll about it and get the fucking voting in. Thank you very much. Thank you. He looks like a fucking CEO. Streamer, it's not a poll. You're so dumb. Learn the terms. What is it then? What is it then? A prediction? All right. Fundamentally, how are they different though? <laughs> no, 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 but for real though, but for real though, but for real though. No clue. One's a bet. The other is just a question. All I'm saying is, all right, sure, maybe, maybe you assumed I meant prediction because that's what I did, but as I, as I am keenly aware, there is a poll section and you did not select the poll section. I said pull. And yes, now that I know what it is, I know I said the wrong thing. But if you want to prove me wrong, maybe you should have done what I asked and then said, fuck you, idiot. You asked for the wrong thing. I'm trying to say happy birthday, Katie, but you're fired. <laughs> trying to say today, how about you go ahead and uh, pack up your bags, uh, head on over to your desk. Pack up your things. It's over. It's over. <laughs> yes, it's over. My points! Did she did she switch it to a poll? Alright, now shut that down and make it a prediction. <laughs> I'm just gonna get, chat. This game might only take about 30 seconds. We have no idea what the toilet rooms could be like. What kind of horrors await us in the toilet zone?
Oh my god. We really are in the toilet zone. I don't know why I instinctively in every video game I play check in the toilets. Hey, can chat is it weird to assume there are things in toilets in video games? Cause it happened at this point, I'm going to say it like this. It happened one time. One time in Thief, there was something in a toilet that I could collect and I got like a fun little ding and like I got treasure for it. And I was like, my brain, like neurons activated and synapses made new connections in my brain. And ever since then, I check every toilet. In every game, I get down on my hands and knees and I stick my goddamn head inside those toilets and I look for treasure every time. Even though it's only happened one time. Right on. It's working like toilets do. Why is this one making sounds? I made a game with fully interactive toilets and some of the greatest toilet sound effects the world has ever known. Someone uses this toilet in real life. Someone will be this guy. You can tell the health of this toilet. This is the healthiest toilet in the goddamn building. You can tell by the suction, by the speed at which it drains that fucking bowl. That's a good fucking toilet. People don't use it that much. Okay, but for real though, where am I? Help! Help! So what I'm gathering, chat, is that I, some people, when they enter the back rooms, they enter a room that's like hallways and like, you know, corners and strange corridors. I, I accidentally fell one half step to the left and I entered the toilet zone. I'm in a back rooms level that is just toilets this time. It's all toilets. Hello? Hello? Here's the thing. Chat, here's the thing. I'd rather be here than trapped in the actual back rooms. You know what I mean? I'd rather be in the toilet rooms. Because at... The So I heard a sound like a quack or something, and then I heard something start pissing. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I'm turning my volume down. What are you scared of? You're going to tell me you're scared of a game called The Toilet Rooms? You're that you're spooked? By the toilet rooms. Oh. 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 There's nothing here. There's nothing in any of these chat. Every, every single one of these toilets is totally fine. We don't know where that sound is coming from. Maybe we don't want to ever know. And that's a good thing. These are not made by the same guy. I swear to God, I did not accidentally download two games separately by the same guy, and that is the exact same guy from the trash zone. This cannot be happening. That cannot be the same duck. How's that even... What are the... 
This this one has been on my computer for like a year. Haven't met people for a long time. Who are you? I'm just like you, person who's stuck here. What kind of place is this? I don't know exactly, but this kind of endless corridor is full of toilet cubicles. It's all it is. How long have you been here? I don't know when morning or night will come. Ain't no sun, no sky, just ceiling. I don't have a clock, so I can't tell. How, how do you survive here? Well, I found a mattress. I, I sleep on it. There's water from the tap, or in extreme cases, from the toilet. You can't say extreme cases. I've seen a fucking sink around every goddamn corner. Listen here, you old freak. I've seen a sink around every corner. You can't, there is no reason to specify that sometimes you may drink out of the toilet. There are two sinks in the frame. And the food is the insects that live here. I eat bugs. Where'd you find the goose? I found a goose in a pipe. He hunts insects and brings them to me. Damn. Lucky fucking break. How do I get out of here? I don't fucking know. And I don't even want to try. I heard strange noises not far from here and I'm afraid to go that far from my shelter. My goose found some key. If you can find some use for it. Here, take it. Thanks. You guys have a good day. This is not, this is, this is kind of cozy, dude. I'd want to live here. If I, not like, uh, not saying I'd want to live here. I mean, if I had to, if I was trapped in this realm, eternally, in the shit zone, this is a pretty good break. This is about as lucky as you're gonna get. Anyways, now that I have this key, we should be able to escape the toilet. The toilet room's no fucking problem. You guys don't think toilets come alive and try to kill you in the toilet rooms, right? Dude, you guys don't think that toilets become alive and try to eat you or anything, right? You guys think like one of these toilets is a fake? God, that's fun. Oh, we're actually out of the toilet zone. Now this is just like the back of this like Hello? Ah! Oh! Right on. Not fucking funny, don't laugh. It's not fucking funny, don't laugh. He has a goddamn breathing problem and you're gonna fucking laugh at him. You're Omega lulling and he can't fucking breathe because his pipe, his, his equivalent to our so, like esophagus is full of uh, f some kind of matter and you're laughing. It's not a poop joke. This toilet needs medical help and you're laughing. This is a serious fucking not funny matter, chat. He needs help. Find a plunger stat. We have no idea how long we're gonna have to... That's the guy with the toilet friend. Dude, <laughs> fuck off though. I'm gonna cut the lights! Oh, 
boy, he's definitely faster than me. Stop! <laughs> I've been swallowed by the toilet head. Poopy funny, dude. Po poopy funny, dude. Where? All right. Did I just get caught right away? Okay, it feels like it's automatic. Hang on. All, all my character did that time was turn a corner after seeing the toilet head, sit down on a toilet, take a huge heaping shit, and then get immediately killed. What if I cut the light? Oh, he just knows, man. But will he follow me all the way back to my friend, the alive toy? <laughs> this game is the shit. <laughs> I'm willing to give- I'm willing to be flushed down this fucking a human toilet one more time before we go to the next game. Alright, that's my rule. Let's find that plunger, we have to save that toilet's life. I'm not gonna let him die on my fucking watch. I'm just not gonna let him die on my watch yet, I won't allow it. I won't fucking allow it. We're looking for a plunger. He's not that fast. We're actually outrunning him right now. We're out. We're out running. No, we're not. He's catching up. Ah, oh, fuck! Didn't we take this turn before? No, we went this way. All right, go this way. Maybe at some point we can like uh, kill him. Maybe he'll. Maybe he'll just die because he's. Definitely keeping up with me, dude. Pretty casually at that. There's probably a way that we can gun him down and kill him. Thanks. All right, chat, we have a plunger. It's a guy with a toilet for a head. It's not as scary as like, oh, I got a siren for a head. It's the toilet head guy, and he's making moaning sounds, like you, like you would hear if someone were he, were pinching off a horrible, horrible, horrible shit in a toilet in public. Like I'm hearing, I I can't stop thinking about like just hearing someone going ooh as they do some horrible, horrible shit in public. I, it's not that scary. All he can do is moan. His lungs are full of. Finish the fucking chat message, you coward. What? Well, full of what? No, no, no. Stop the show. Stop the show. Say it. Say it. Shit. Was it shit? You gonna say shit? Say it. Is it a fucking poop joke? Is it supposed to be funny to you? Again, gargle my balls. Time that person out. And add the note derivative to their fucking, to their fucking mod notes. Seen it before, dude. Hey. I am a professional streamer. I do this for a fucking living. I, I just want people to know that. Like, I... I am feeling the worst I've felt in weeks right now in this chair and I am simultaneously my my livelihood is based around currently turning on a stream and unclogging a sentient toilet
fucking goddamn hero is what I am. I'm a goddamn fucking hero. Chat, here's the thing. Okay. Who's your friend, man? The tube. Am I getting, am I getting plunged out of the, out of the toilet realm? Back to like the surface? Oh, I know, I, I got flushed out. This wasn't the, this wasn't what I wanted. Trap, this wasn't what I wanted. They just dumped me into like, into like a Microsoft XP screensaver! They, they, uh, they just dumped me in the Blight Town, dude! I didn't ask for this! I was the poop joke, chat. They flushed me down the fucking toilet. I was the fucking poop joke all along. We thought... We thought it was everything else. It was my character. I saw something in the distance. Just like your career, you hack. Damn. We're all just having fun here, Chad. Let's take, take it easy, dude. Let's take it easy, dude. Let's, come on, let's all just calm the hell down. I am actually boxed in. I'm boxed in the tube. I can't get out. Help! Help! I tried climbing one of them and it didn't work. That one's... I almost had to like click on it. Dad, you can't climb any of these tubes, man. We're really trapped in the shit realm, man. I mean, I guess when you really think about it, chat, yeah. I, if we really want to deconstruct my career. I used to work on YouTube, which I would call the toilet realm. I would describe YouTube as the toilet zone. Okay. It was where everyone dumped their fucking shit without thinking and just kind of left it there to stink out in the sun while people walked up and looked at the shit and went, ha, huh, that shit's kind of funny looking and would then like observe it. After a certain amount of time and a couple of moments, a couple tragic bridge moments, some gamer moments happened, I was flushed down the, to the toilet of YouTube and uh, I landed in the sewage fucking heap. The sewage runoff pipe that is Twitch. And here I am now wading through a, wading through just a sea of shit while Twitch's fucking servers and Twitch's various decisions on the site just pile more shit on me from above. What's up, man? I just go past you to get to the elevator to leave? I haven't le- Legally, I haven't left yet. This is in trap. You haven't let me leave. Let me go. 
Okay. Do I just get in the shower? Is the water rising? The water's rising. He's gonna drown me. I don't think he knows I need to breathe. The guy doesn't actually know I need to breathe. So, so far my character has been flushed down a toilet and is now being washed away. What is happening? Yeah, I was in a tub all along. I fell asleep in the tub. My guy fell asleep in the tub and had a horrible nightmare. <laughs> the duck. You guys think it was the duck all along? We've been playing some goof ones. That wasn't even supposed to be a goof. I'm gonna pull out, I'm gonna pull out what will hopefully be an actually scary, horrifying game because I think we need one. Okay. This one is a, the only thing that's gonna be maybe scary about this one is an Unreal Engine 4 game. Uh, which means it's going to open VR. Yeah, I'd like to set up my VHS. Countryside, 1999. One construction worker quit his job after encountering what he believed was a strange creature. An old Victorian house had been sitting vacant for years, so crews came in to begin demolishing it to make way for a new building. However... It wasn't long after the demolition started that one of the crewmen spotted a strange creature inside of the building. Okay. When you see a red color text, hold uh, for three seconds until it disappears. Okay. You'll be at the correct distance for, uh, from it pretty close. All right, hang on. Language. <laughs> Idioma language. <laughs> what? Idioma language. Langi? Idioma Langi? Alright. I have no idea how strong. Look, chat, here's, here's the thing. I have no idea how powerful the filter is going to be on this one. Most of the time, when a game has VHS filters, it gives an option in the menu to turn it off. This one has not. Yo, I kind of like this one. This is like a unique fucking filter. Compared to most of the overlay ones that you get on like PSX shit. This is actually a unique presentation. Hello? I'm gonna turn this off for this. Hello? That sights of some kind of goblin crawling around an old manor out in the forest. Thought I'd take a look. I got called in. So it was either some... They said it was just some kind of creature, but I could smell off of the person that made the report that they smelled exactly like Kitchen Goblin. Yeah, we had a couple Kitchen Goblin settings in this county before. So I'm gonna swing on in and uh, take a look around, see if I can find the Goblin. Uh, if I can, I will kill it. Uh, we're actually not allowed to take goblins home anymore. We have to kill them if we see them. Uh, looks like that's the house there. Uh, really, I'm just recording this uh, so um, people will know that I dispatch the goblin humanely when I do find it. Apparently, there's all kinds of laws now. You can't just walk up to goblins and, and kill them. 
not because the not because people are concerned about the goblins, but because typically when a goblin dies, it releases a scream much like this, which can really distress pets. So uh, really, we we try to make it quick. We try to try to crush their windpipe as fast as possible so they can't release the sound. Now, uh, it looks like the goblins may have barricaded themselves inside the house. Uh, fortunately, the thing about goblins is they really don't realize that our legs can get... ...casually over... Oh, okay, I'm hearing... I think the goblins may have tamed some kind of bird. That sounds a bit... That sounded like a wild turkey. Okay, they either have a wild turkey in there or a duck, which is not good. Goblins are very good at taming and training small avian wildlife so yeah, I'm trying to get a look in the window there I can't actually see the goblin it's just you hear that you hear that you hear that pitter patter oh yeah we got something out here there's definitely something inside that house keep your eyes peeled We're gonna wanna... Damn, they actually wired up a... They got fucking... They actually have internet in there. Okay, these are advanced goblins. They wired... They actually wired electricity into the goddamn house. They must be siphoning this right off the power grid of the city. Yeah, it's a smart goblin. See, what they're trying to do is they're making a lot of stepping sounds to make it seem like there's more people in the house than there are. But I'm already keenly aware of what we're dealing with. So they're not going to be getting me with that. It seems like they've set up a kind of station here to trick people into dropping their valuables, their electronic valuables, and swapping to some kind of can like candle system. I think that's a trick. No goblins will resell old electronics on eBay. We'll do that. So you do not want to fall for that. Mouse left the game. Why team to get in this door? Oh yeah, they locked it. Yep, door's locked. See, the thing is, believe it or not, uh, I'm not legally allowed to enter a house if it's locked. The goblin has to allow me entry, or I can't actually hands are full. You hear that? Thought I heard something in the woods. You did hear that, right? There was some kind of, like, scampering? Last person alive here is knocking. The goblins are watching like a musical. They definitely have cable in there. They have cable in there or something. That's kind of pissing me off. They're mocking me. They know I can't get in, so they've turned up the music. I'm tempted to throw a brick in to try to get them to scatter. Hear that? I think I can hear them loading up cartridges of a gun. I think that might just be a mind game. I'm gonna pretend I'm going back to my car. Did you hear that moan? You know, not so sure about that. I'm not sure goblins make those kinds of moans. We might have some kind of ghoul in here. This might actually be a ghoul situation. I'm gonna swing back to the car quick. Make it look like I'm leaving. Right. They must have just dropped their guard. All right, now we double back. Fast.
They just turned on the sprinkler system. <laughs> you hear that? They're trying to scare me off by getting me wet. It's not gonna be enough. I just don't remember, I think I'm missing an interaction I need to do, but I don't remember the fucking button. Like, did all I have to do to interact with something is just zoom in when I'm close to, like, a red thing? It's not like buttons. I don't know how to get the door open. something They're definitely like holding there's they're scraping something along the ground and in this way actually sounded like something was right behind me that was kind of creepy Some kind of duck in there. Just don't know how to fucking get in. I mean, A plus for atmosphere, dude. If I could figure out how to get in, it'd be a lot scarier, though. If I could enter the house. But I'm a bozo. What chore is this, then? Uh, you're locked out of your house. You left your keys inside. can't get in. <laughs> yeah, I can't get in, dude. I actually am locked out. The goblins owned me on this one, dude. Full on own. I saw the red text on the truck. It wouldn't let me interact with it even once I held right click. They said the thing was very close. I'd be very close. Hearing knocking. Oh, there we go. That time it worked. Is that was what it was? I had to interact. I had to inspect that thing. Oh, goblins fucked up. They opened the door, folks. All right. Locked and loaded. You can actually, believe it or not, goblins have very fragile skin and bones and muscles, so you can just kill them with a salt gun. So I've loaded this up with kosher salt. Uh, we're just gonna go in there and take them down. Oh, yep. I've been using little goblin candles. They're still lit. Built 1937. Sven Finch. Have I legally obtained this? Hello? Hello? Chat. What the hell have these goblins been doing? They have fucking gas tanks in here. They're planning on blowing this place up. Oh my god! That's a gnome. That's not a goblin. That's a fucking gnome. It's not goblins. I I'm not equipped to fight gnomes today. I didn't. I don't have any of the gnome hunting equipment. 
It's fine. It might be- they might be elderly. We might be able to just fucking beat the shit out of them anyways. They're probably not very strong. Sound. Is there something in the goddamn ceiling? Oh no. They've been gathering drugs. What the fuck was that sound? Did somebody just close the door behind me? Dude, this is spooky as shit. This is the best execution of like a found footage fucking thing I've played in a random indie game in a long time. Oh, they didn't lock the door. We're fine. This filter works really well for it. The gnomes have been collecting drugs. Some of them still have pills in them. Not seeing anything outside. Oh. Lots of lots of cockatiels. And birds in general. Hello. Smile. There's something right behind me, isn't there? Who's there? Going any farther that way. Let's get the fuck out. We're not equipped for this, Chad. We're getting the fuck out of here. Oh, that door used to be closed. Whoa! Fuck, how long has this window been open? They could have gone in here a thousand times. Just saw my reflection. Just saw my reflection blink. What? Just saw my reflection blink. Must be nothing. I thought there was something in the room with me. I thought I heard something. Did I just hear fucking crab walking along the ding dang ground? I heard like a like a crab. Hello? Or maybe the pitter-patter of a little gnome. So the ceiling, second floor. It's a floor above, no one panic! It's all blood? There must have been some kind of war between the gnomes on the ground floor and the goblins on the top floor. We gotta get out of here. This, this ain't no place for us anymore. The wars already began. We'll just burn the building down from the outside. Yeah, fuck this place. Hello? I didn't see any other text in there to look at, chat. I'm gonna assume that something moved out front. 
Oh, yeah. Front door's open. Clear to move. Whoa! There will be blood! I love that movie. Ah, oh, right on. I love that movie. There will be blood. It's a good movie. Yeah, I didn't actually lock it in as... Did you get it that time? I don't want to be part of no war. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't want to. I don't want any part of that. I oh, know. Front door is closed. I assume I have to go back into the back now. Man, my, I'm so slow. It opened again. I mean, what's new? It, was, it opened last time, too. That TV is new, I swear. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wait a second! Oh, that was like a hobgoblin. That was a little bit larger than a normal goblin. That was like a hop goblin. Made out of like meat. I let it be known. I shot it once with a salt shotgun, no problem. Let it be known. One shot pff, right to the chest with that salt shotgun. Point blank kosher. Didn't stand a chance. I missed it, do it again. He explored all the hallways, and there were a lot of hallways. Some of them didn't have temporary lighting installed, so they were pitch black. All of a sudden, his ears began ringing. The sound and pitch got louder and louder, till it was unbearable. He dropped to his knees, grabbing his ears, and crying out in pain, 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 and crying out in pain. Out in pain. Reaction cameras off? Oh, fuck, hang on. You can just kind of edit that in where the, uh, the ghoul appeared. You edit that in. It's like dub the two, put it over. That was the worst reaction. <laughs> you <laughs> that was not. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> It looks like you stepped on a Lego. You guys are so mean, dude. You guys are, you guys have gotten way meaner lately, bro. I'm I'm ejecting the tape. I'm returning this one to Blockbuster. That's it. That's it, man. I'm returning it to Blockbuster, dude. You lost you lost your privileges to watch that movie. Think I'm just going to let you push me around? You're right. You think me a fool? I think I have time to partially play at least one more thing right before all goes, all goes, all, all the D&D &D happens. We're going to play a game called Sewer Adventure. We have time! Remember the game made by, remember that time travel game called, uh, No Time? Uh, this is a prequel to that. We're going to play No Time Soon when it's finished and out of uh, early access. This is a sewer, sewer adventure. I don't. I mean, you weren't there. I made sure to avoid uh, doing it on a day that you would be able to make it. So that's why you don't remember. My name is Edward Arthur, and I'm 14. Hi, Edward. Well, the story went like this. I was preparing for an exploration of the Who sewer asked? underneath Pine Lake. Okay. There have been stories of a monster... Tomato, it's my fucking birthday. Well, it wasn't the day I streamed no time, I'll tell you that much. The location? Railroad Bridge in Pine Lake East. 
I told my parents I'd be back by dusk. All right. Here we go, man. This is not a sewer. This is not a sewer. I, I'm already running out of time. I found a snack. I can eat it with the right mouse button. Nice. I found the sewer. All right, chat. We have no idea what we could be getting into with this, but we have exactly five minutes to find out what we're getting into with this. It's a very well-lit sewer, honestly. All right, I'm seeing green slime. That's scary. This is even scarier because there's no cause for this green slime. Uh, this green slime, there's no slime even there. Uh, we're gonna go straight. That leads outside. I'm gonna eat the snack because I'm a little- I was apparently dying before this. It's a key. He needs a key. He needs a key. Mm, needs a key. Mm, needs a key. Mm, 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 mm. Found a battery. What else do we have here? Dude, climb into the fucking sewer water now. A cocoa crab? Hey, what, what are you holding? Hey! <sighs> That cocoa crab got devoured by the sewer shit water. Instantly, it made a bass boosted fart sound and then it disappeared with, I believe, the wheel I needed to progress through the game. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, you would have used it to open that. Where am I playing? I do not believe I have enough time to unpack this one. But did I just wander into the hermit's hole? What's up? Hi. What you doing here? Well, this is no place for youngsters. Don't go down there, please. Shut up, you old man. Shut the hell up now. Save the game. Ah, fuck! I freaking burned my leg stepping into that fire. All right, Chad, we're gonna go into the sewer. We're gonna- we're gonna ignore that old man. What the fuck's wrong with their face? Uh, okay, yeah, be mean to me. That's wild. That's really cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Really fucking nice and cool and appropriate. We're going into the strange sewer. Crab lair. What's up? I'm, I'm just here for the valve. Thank you. Is that the valve sound effect? I was hoping for a scarier game on this one. Nice cocoa crabs. Is, does my guy get eaten by? I'm getting. I actually. Ow! Fuck! Ow! All right, let's go. We lived. We lived. Those crabs didn't win. Lost to crabs. I didn't lose to crabs, motherfucker. I'm alive. And we're gonna continue my sewer adventure. Okay. <laughs> and continue my adventure, I will! <sighs> Don't have time to wait. There's many, many a crab down here. Yeah, but where's the ghoul? You know what I mean? Like, where's the, where's the ghoul? <laughs> Need a key to open that. It's a key. My guy has asthma. Did you hear that? What's in here? Maintenance West. You guys think monsters are real and there's actually a monster in these sewers? You guys, you guys think monsters are freaking real? All right, I'm a 14 year old kid. I wouldn't know better. Ah, 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 ah! <laughs> I'm 
a 14 year old kid. I don't know how hot steam is. I'll throw a rock at a hornet's nest from 10 feet away and assume it won't know any better. Hell yeah, man. All right, chat. Uh, I, I gotta go do D and D, dude. It's been a it's been a pleasure. It really has. But uh, I will catch you all next time. Chat, thanks for coming on by. I appreciate it. I hope you had a I hope you had a good oh, good time watching. Sorry I uh, sorry I, get, I can't go longer. Sorry I couldn't stream much yesterday. I haven't been feeling that great. But uh, I'll be back on Monday. Hopefully by then, I'm not I, I'm not gonna normally missing as much as I have and with many short streams as I've had recently. I would normally. Uh, try to do something over the weekend, even if it was microscopic on, like, Sunday. But uh, I don't think this is going to be out of my system by then, and I'm probably just going to take it really easy, and hopefully uh, I will be better by then. Uh, so thanks for coming on by. If you gifted subs, donate bits or anything like that, I really appreciate it. Sorry if I've missed it. Uh, it's been, honestly, it's been pretty rough. Even streaming at all has been... Uh, pretty rough. I mainly I mainly did today out of a feeling of necessity Because this is my job, but I did have fun But yeah, I will see you all on uh, Monday at the usual time. I'm going to send you all over to Joe. We're doing uh, mistletoe We're doing actually a pretty funny session today. I'm pretty excited uh, But yeah um, Happy birthday again to Katie uh, Thank you for everything you do in the community. I really appreciate it. Hope you have a good birthday. I'll see you all at uh, Joe's channel in a couple minutes. Goodbye.